Hi and welcome to Electronical. In this episode we're going to look at using the Max 3100 heart, pulse and O2 sensor with a nice colourful display. Let's get started. <laughs> Is that it? <sighs> so as you can see, we can actually display the beats per minute, the percentage O2, percentage oxygen in your blood, and we've got a nice graphical display of the ECG along the top. So it all looks really good. Unfortunately, with these Max 3100 sensors, you can see the one I'm using here, you have to make a small alteration to the board. It's only a matter of taking off three surface mount resistors. As long as you've got a soldering iron, it is dead easy. Let's have a look at how we do that. So we have to get rid of these three small, sur <laughs> of these three small surface mount resistors. Looks tricky, it's not. Let's get our soldering iron and I'll show you how they come off. So with a little bit of heat and a bit of gentle pressure, that's the first one. And, and then the second one, that's gone. Just get rid of that. Uh, come on, get off. Tap that off. And now the last one. A little bit of heat. And away it goes, and it is that simple. Job done, 30 seconds. So you might be wondering why we've actually gone to the trouble of removing them. Well, that was all mentioned in the previous video, but basically those three resistors are pulling up the I squared C bus up to 3.3 volts and of course obviously the Arduino is 5 volts we need to actually pull up to 5 volts so we took those resistors off so that it's not pulling up to 3.3 and then on our breadboard we're going to add three resistors on that will pull up to 5 volts and everything will work fine I'll put a link up in the description below uh, in, in the description above and below to the previous video and you can check out my explanation there so this health center consists of this max 3100 oxygen and pulse sensor which is strapped to my thing with a with an elastic band, an Arduino, small piezo sounder, and this 128 by 128 color color TFT display, and I've got some Dupont wires connecting to the board, which aren't the best because you probably want to use some soft, flexible wire rather than this, because the slightest movement on these and it twists it that way and that way and that affects the results and you get some anomalous results as you can see popping up now and again so but this sensor is far far better than the normal pull sensor i've done in previous projects i'll put a link up to one over above you know those little heart shaped ones i put a picture up above now so you can see we've got a nice bpm and percentage or two and a nice little ECG style display. It's not a true ECG. It's not based on electrical activity of the heart. It's based on a combination of the beats per minute and the oxygen level. Your pulse will ditch about a little bit naturally. So let's have a see how we built this. Let's get the circuit diagram up on screen. I'll just take this off for now. So looking at the diagram, and you can see we've got the max 3100 pulse and RT sensor connected to the Arduino using R squared C bus. And we've got the SDA, SCL of the pulse sensor going to A4 and A5 of the Arduino. And this green wire is connected to the INT pin of the pulse sensor. And that goes to the, via this white wire to the D2 pin. Orange wire goes to positive and the purple wire goes to ground. And then this display is connected to the SBI bus. The blue wire is probably labelled either SDA or SCL on your module, it can differ. And that goes to the D11 pin. This green wire is connected up to the A0 or RS pin, depending on how it's labelled. It basically stands for register select and that's connected to D8. 
The next one is the purple wire and I've connected that to the reset pin of the LCD and that goes to D9. And this pink wire is connected to the chip select, basically means the SPI device select and that's going to D10. And obviously we've got 5 volts connected to VCC and ground connected to ground. And this orange wire is actually the LED pin of the display. Just make sure it's nice and bright. That's going to connect us straight to the 5 volt pin. And then of course we've got the three resistors. Remember we took three resistors off the actual board, which I said was because they were pulling up to 3.3 volts and we needed to pull up to the 5 volts. Now these are the three resistors here that are actually doing that pulling up to the 5 volts of the Arduino. And they're connected to the SDA, the SCL and the INT pin of that sensor. And they just done it on the board where those come off the sensor into, into the breadboard. I've just connected up to the 5 volt line. And lastly, we've got the P8 source sounder connected to ground and the D12 pin. And so we can get that nice beep sound out. So let's have a look at the software we need to actually drive all this. So let's look at what software we need for this amazing medical center. So if you go to sketch, include libraries and manage libraries. And the first thing we're going to look for is the library for the sensor itself. So we type in max 30100. And the one you want is this one here, the max 3100 lib by Oxlaw Interscans, Inter, or oh, whatever that says anyway, Interseek, yeah, that. So install that. I've already got that installed. And then once you've got that done, you want to get some Adafruit software, so we want the Adafruit graphics library. If any of you've done any of my projects before, you've mostly you've probably got the Adafruit graphics library if you've used it with other things I've done with the small OLED screens or anything like that. So Adafruit uh, GRA should do it. Graphics library, that one there. So Adafruit GFX library by Adafruit. Install that. Again, I've got it installed. So in, And then we just need a drive for the screen. So the screen I'm using has a ST7735 chip, requires the ST, ST7735 driver, so we'll type that in. And the one you want is again by Adafruit, TFT by Arduino, Adafruit version, blah, 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 and that's installed. That's all the libraries you want. If you're using a different screen, then you would have to have a different driver. If it's the same, if it's by Adafruit, and it's a 128 by 128 pixel display, then you're probably good to go. All you need to do would be to just come here. You would include a different driver library there. But if it's not a 128 by 128 display, then you're gonna to have to jiggle with the code a bit to make it look right. If it's not by Adafruit, then um, you're kind of almost on your own there because I use the Adafruit ones because they have a common graphics library here that fits with uh, all their sort of drivers for their displays. So it makes it very easy to sort of swap things about. But I would recommend you to get, when you're looking up the screens on wherever you source your electronic parts from, if you look for the ST7735 driver screen, 128 by 128 display. And then you need this software, obviously, that we've got here that I've written. So if you go to Extronical, and there's a link just down below to this web page. And you see Color ECG and Oxygen Monitor. Scroll down. You'll also find this off one of the menus of, um, I think it's in the basics menu. Let's scroll down. I've got a bit of a waffle. There's a circuit diagram that we showed earlier. And come down here. And yeah, there's a code. Just sort of click in. And go up to here. Click that. Control C. And then go straight to your Arduino environment and paste it in there and upload it and away you go. That's it. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and like button. If you really enjoyed it and like to see more, hit that subscribe button and hit that share button if you want to share it. If you want to patronize me or patronize me on Patreon, there's a link down in the description below. Until next time, catch you later.